Hey, we're here at the uh, beautiful Maker's Mark Distillery uh, to pick out another fantastic uh, barrel. This will be our third barrel pick of a private select for Maker's Mark. Uh, as you can tell, it's a beautiful day out here uh, uh, in Kentucky. And uh, we always say uh, the better the weather, the better the barrel. So uh, let me tell you, we're going to have a little lunch and uh, then we're going to get down to business and uh, again, pick us out a fantastic uh, private select barrel. Got Rocky, our uh, Covington manager, tasting expert, along with our tasting crew. So um, give us three months-ish uh, and uh, it'll be another fantastic barrel at the Cap and Gordon Select Room. So yeah, during the process, we're gonna go through 10 different staves. Um, they could be all 10-1 or any amount of any of the staves. Uh, that's what kind of flavors or the profile of the uh, bourbon and we'll be picking out a great one this time. Looking forward to seeing you. So what you're working with is a base of Maker's Mark Castle Strength. Maker's Mark Castle Strength is the base that we make everything from. Maker's 46, Maker's Mark, whatever it is, starts as this product right here. Uh, when we do a lot of barrels, it's a 378 barrel batch, and we don't filter it, and we don't add water. That is what you get. Right here. And today, you guys are tasting at 110.9 in proof. I mentioned your tank next door where we dumped your barrel out is 108.8 in proof. Same consistent profile. Three boards out there, so if you guys are not limited to three, you can do as much as you need to then. Well, Joseph won the uh, Golden Pout Award uh, from Rachel, so what do you think? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, this yeah, most of I know, you like the cast. Uh, well. All right. 46, I'd go five. Wait, wait, 46. Over here, number, yeah. number four. Yeah, three, uh, three of the roasted French mocha. Two of the toasted first class. Why'd you pick so many 46? Delicious. Didn't get a word of the golden palette award for nothing for crying out loud. Center. Right in the center. Yeah, we call that. Put a lot of pressure on the rock back. Yeah. Sure. 
Good. There you go. Good stand. It's going Romeo Langford, Romeo Langford. <laughs> I forgot it was on the do I have to like, keep an eye on it or will yeah. it stop? Um, it won't stop. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really well. Just we'll fall apart down. Uh-huh. Spin. There you go. Bring it on the side. Spin. Spin. Seven, eight. Well done. Very good. Yeah. Well, well, very good. Thank you. You did a great job. Thank there. you. It's going to be hard to beat. Season. Turn, turn, turn. There you go. Bring it up. Bring it up. Side. Spin. Spin. Pros. Again. And out. Side. Spin. Spin. Dirty. And on. Yeah. Whatever you're going to stuck everything in your pocket and hang right from the wall. Rachel, I work at the Cabin Cork out on Maysville Road. Well, after my first time in bourbon country, I do realize that there is so many different aspects to the bourbons, but it gives me a new insight into what all goes into them and all the different flavors that you do get in, you know. Um, I do taste some of the sweetness in them, I do taste some of the spiciness in them, and it just gives me a different perspective on what all goes into them. So each distillery is unique. Each one has its own story, each one has its own history, and all of that history, all of that story they put onto each of their bottles. I mean, look at Maker's Mark, it's just gorgeous here. Look for the Cap and Cork Barrel Picks in the next few months. Um, they'll be at select Cap and Cork locations, and make sure you come to Maysville and say hi to me. That's all this week from the Cap and Cork Studios. We'll keep you in good spirits, and you keep us in good company. We'll see you right back here next week.